Hey guys, this is Phil, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about slings. We consider slings to be a very important piece of kit, especially if you play milsim games, and they're absolutely essential if you carry a sidearm. What we're gonna to do today is go over the various types of slings that the Storm Riders use, and we'll go over some tips and tricks along the way. So let's get to it. So before we start talking about specific types of slings, it's important to note that effective use of a sling is part of good weapons manipulation. Someone who practices consistently with a bad sling will always be faster and more efficient than someone who never practices with a great sling. Regardless of what type of sling you use, you should incorporate it into your routine practice. Generally speaking, there are two types of slings, one-point and two-point slings. Three-point slings also exist, but they're generally considered outdated, as they impede the use of your rifle, and they're very complicated, so we won't be talking about them today. One-point slings and two-point slings refer to the amount of attachment points of the sling to your rifle. As the name implies, the one-point sling attaches to one point on your rifle, generally at the rear of the lower receiver with a hook or quick detach mount like I have on mine. The user will then loop the sling around their strong side shoulder. This allows the rifle to rest in a very convenient position and makes transitions to your offside shoulder extremely easy. On the downside, when the rifle is released, it has a tendency to dangle in front of the user, which can be problematic when moving. Additionally, it doesn't distribute the weight very well, which can be uncomfortable for longer games or if your rifle is very heavy. To offset this, some single point slings actually run through the shoulder pads of the plate carrier and attach to the molly on the back in order to distribute the load a little bit better. We advise against using this kind of setup, however, because it doesn't actually allow you to adjust your sling or to manipulate it in any way, or to release it if you get entangled. If you do want to use a one-point sling, we recommend you use a more traditional setup that is separate from your plate carrier. If you use a shorter rifle or you play on primarily CQC fields, then a one-point sling might be right for you. They're very simple to use and they're relatively inexpensive. You can get a brand name one for less than $50 Canadian. I personally use a Spec Ops Lone Star Sling. I've had this particular sling for over 10 years and is still in top shape. The retention is really good and the hardware is in excellent condition. Other top brands include Blackhawk and Tactical Tailor. Two-point slings attach to two points on your rifle's body, generally at the rear of the lower receiver or on the buttstock and somewhere on your front rail. Modern two-point slings can be adjusted on the fly, giving the user extra flexibility. In its basic configuration, a two-point sling allows the rifle to rest in a single position without dangling, which is extremely useful for longer rifles. It's very easy to adjust a two-point sling in order to shoot it or to secure your rifle either on your front or on your back, which is great for milsim games. On the downside, there is no single position which will be applicable for all situations. So it's very important to play around and to practice manipulating your sling in order to be effective at using it. Overall, two-point slings are extremely versatile, and with a bit of practice, you can be just as fast with a two-point sling as you are with a one-point. If you have a longer rifle, or you find yourself frequently releasing your gun, then a two-point sling might be right for you. Generally speaking, two-point slings are a little bit more expensive than one-point slings, and you should expect to spend at least $75 Canadian to get a decent one. This particular sling is a Ferro Concept Slingster, but other top brands include the Blue Force Gear Vicar Sling and the Viking Tactics Sling. Regardless of which two-point setup you end up using, you should make sure that it's very easily adjustable. Finally, if you can't decide between a two-point setup or a one-point setup, you could choose a convertible sling, such as the Magpul MS4 or the Haley Strategic D3 Sling. These slings have an attachment point on the actual sling body, allowing you to take your front attachment point and move it onto the sling, going from a two-point to a one-point setup very quickly. If you do decide to go with a convertible sling, make sure to incorporate practicing going from a two-point setup to a one-point setup into your regular routine. This does add a little bit of complexity to your weapons manipulation. We hope you found this video helpful. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.